top of the morning to Falcons. We're your we're this week's anchors, Nolan and Ava. We're so happy that we get to anchor for you guys this week. Let's get right into it. Miss Bolin. Yes. Do you know what's happening around Hillsdale? No clue, but I know who does. Bo, Cruz, and a very special guest this week. What's up guys, it's me. And Bo. And we're here with our very special guest. Dominic. And we're here to give you guys where our Hillsdale happening. First up, the Eva Bay Banquet is Saturday the 16th. Falcon Factor Auditions, which is the 9th and 12th grade talent show, is from 8 to 8.30 a.m. and 3 to 5 p.m. on Monday. And say today, because Falcon Factor is on April 11th at 7 p.m. And finally, the Hillsdale Local School Strategic Planning Meeting will be on Monday, March 18th. There is a Board of Education meeting Tuesday, March 19th. And 9th through 12th graders, make sure you're buying a yearbook at johnstons.com. And guys, finally, seniors, send your baby pics to Mr. Whistle ASAP. Five days till spring break. Heck yeah. Let's go. Now we know what's happening, Ava. Yep. So Nolan, is there any classes you regret not taking? There are, Ava. I wish I took Miss Grissinger's Culinary and Global Foods and all of Mr. Holder's art classes. Hmm. Well, you're in luck. We have interviews with Mr. Holder and Mr. Whistle today. Hey guys, I'm here with the one, the only, Mr. Holder. And today I'm gonna ask you a few questions about the classes you teach. Uh, so, so Mr. Holder, what classes do you teach here at Hillsdale? I teach the art classes, uh, high school all the way down to fifth grade. That's awesome. Uh, can you tell us more about what you do in those classes? Well, in the fifth and sixth grades, we do a little more of the basics. And then as we get up into the high school, we start focusing on particular things like painting and drawing and ceramic sculpture, stained glass. Uh, all the ones you teach, which ones are your favorite to teach? Oh, stained glass. Stained glass is awesome. Stained glass does sound really cool. All right, so quick demonstration. All of this, so if I was gonna finish weld, I'd put a bunch of flux over everywhere that I wanna work. And I can always go back and do more. Just basically run a nice, clean, smooth bead. You gotta go through every single one of those lines. Every single joint. Make it look pretty. To make it look good. Now, honestly, what's keeping this window together is this solder. So, depending on how well I solder, will depend how strong this window is too. Mr. Whistle, can we get an interview for the Daily Dale with you? Yeah, absolutely. Sit down, Jay. Uh. All right, guys. I'm here with my boss, Mr. Whistle. So, Whis, um, what classes do you teach here at Hillsdale? Uh, here at Hillsdale, I teach American History, Intro to Digital Media Journalism, and Yearbook. That sounds awesome. So, can you tell us about uh, some of the classes that you teach here, then? Like... Absolutely. So for American history, uh, typically taken by sophomores here at Hillsdale, uh, we start in about 1877 America and work our way as close as we can to present day. Uh, for the intro to digital media journalism class, uh, that's what you're seeing right now. Uh, we make the Daily Dale and we post on Facebook. We learn about some other journalistic techniques. And then the yearbook course goes through and creates the 9th through 12th grade uh, yearbook here at Hillsdale. That all sounds like some really awesome stuff, but I gotta ask, what one is your favorite to teach? That's so hard. Uh, I'm a history nerd at heart. Uh, we're learning about Eisenhower today, so I had to wear my I Like Ike pin. But uh, I would have to say either uh, the American history classes or yearbook. I took yearbook in high school, and it's special to me. It's kind of a great combination between uh, teaching students how to be journalists as well as partially historians because uh, we get to write a piece of Hillsdale history. 
ICL it is. Thanks for the interview, Mr. Whistle. Thank you, Jamie. Get back to work. Okay. <laughs> but now it's time for my favorite segment of the week, mini games. Let's go to Miss Copenhaver's class. I'm here with Mrs. Copenhaver's class today, and we are going to have a, a competition between six groups who can build the tallest tower with marshmallows and toothpicks. I think it's between this one and that one. And if we look, I think this table's the winner. Hey. All right, out of six hold groups, you guys were the winners. Can I have your names? Chloe. Jasper. Jack. All right, guys, what was your strategy? Um, so, uh oh. Usually when I build my towers at home, the thing is they usually fall over. So what I've decided is, is to make more stables and that makes the tower more stronger. <laughs> and how we made the tallest tower, it's because we had a whole team working together. But he was like building the top, but we kind of made it work out. It was a team effort, and you guys did great, and you guys won. How does it feel? So good. So good. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Congrats to our future architects with the tallest tower and moving on, Nolan, we've had some pretty good plays for the past two years. We have, Ava, and in fact, this year, this play this year was very successful and actually we're at the set of cleanup. It's quite messy right now, but it'll be cleaned up here soon. But Annie and Mamma Mia were both very good mu musicals, Annie being this year and Mamma Mia being last year. So we decided to ask some faculty, staff, and students about what they think, Mamma Mia or Annie. It's so nice in here. It's freezing everywhere else. Five language of appreciation in the workplace. Spanish. Okay. Hello Falcons, I'm here with... Paige Sherman. And Paige, what musical did you like more, Annie or Mamma Mia? Mamma Mia. Why did you like Mamma Mia more than Annie? Because it was funnier. It was funnier. Hello Falcons, I'm here with... Mackenzie. And Mackenzie, what did you like better, Mamma Mia or Annie? Uh, I like Mamma Mia more. Uh, what about Annie? Uh, I really liked Annie. It was very good, and all the uh, actors and actresses did very well. But Mamma Mia was just very fun and entertaining and very funny. So I liked it more. Thank you, Mackenzie. Yeah. Hello, Falcons. I'm here with... JC Hazen. And JC, what did you like better, Mamma Mia or Annie? I like Mamma Mia better. Uh, why Mamma Mia? It has way catchier songs than what Annie does, but he did do a good job in Annie, Nolan. Thank you, JC. I'm here with... Deputy Martin. And Mr. Martin, what did you like better, Mamma Mia or Annie? I liked Annie better. Uh, why, why was Annie better? Annie had a better plot to it. Uh, Mamma Mia was funny, but Annie had the better plot, and the kids could express themselves more by singing and stuff. It was kind of like it was easier to follow. And I think everybody knows Annie better than Mamma Mia as far as like being famous, I guess, so to speak. It's a good answer. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Yeah. Hello, Falcons. I'm here with Mr. Power. And Mr. Power, being somebody who's seen Mamma Mia and, and, and Annie, what was your favorite? Annie. Why was Annie your favorite? Because I liked the plot better. It was easier to follow the plot. Okay, thank you, Mr. Power. You know, Eva, I was pleasantly surprised with the outcome of those interviews. I'm glad the people enjoyed Annie almost just as much as they did Mamma Mia. Ava, what was your favorite, Annie or Mamma Mia? Probably Mamma Mia. I can't say no to Ava. I do like Ava. They're rocking. Yeah. Moving on, we have this week's senior interviews. 
What's up guys, it's time for more senior interviews. I'm here with the one, the only. Owen Hoffman, what's up Falcons? So Owen, what do you plan to do after you graduate? Well JD, that's an interesting question. You know, it took me a while to figure it out, but I think I got it narrowed down to I'm going to the Ohio State University ATI campus in Worcester for my first two years to get a two-year education in agri-science education. And then after two years, I'm going to the Ohio State University main campus in Columbus to minor or to get my last two years in agricultural business. Do you know what you're gonna do in the ag field or? I'm planning on being an ag teacher like my dad. He's the GOAT. Uh, quick little plug there. But yeah, that's what I got in plan right now. That sounds awesome. It seems like you have things all planned up. Yes, sir, JD. What's up, Hillsdale? Welcome back to Senior Interviews again. Today I got with me. Lily and Eamon. So Lily, what are you doing after high school? I will be going to school for dental assisting. The heck is that? Uh, dental assisting is someone that makes you comfortable when you're in the dentist office and preparing you for the doctor. And where are you going to go to school for that? I will be going to the Career Center. They offer adult education classes. That's a solid plan. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm here with uh, Gabe Stack. And what are you doing after high school? Uh, after high school, I'm going to be attending classes at the Ohio State University with the uh, hopes of becoming a uh, dentist. Yep, I hope so. All right, thank you. We're here at the Daily Dale HQ, also known as Mr. Whistle's room. Yep, thank you everyone for watching. Nolan and Ava, out. You know, Ava, we haven't been anchors in a while. Yeah, probably because we were too cool. I don't like this. Yeah, that's so awkward. Well, like, that is so awkward. I did my best. 